we know more and more people who are trying to live more naturally. There's a, a certainly a big focus on food. Food has always been a big part of Chinese cultural development and civilization. And uh, some of the food scandals and food safety issues have led to a kind of a focus on that uh, and on organic agriculture, on sustainable agriculture. So that's a, that's a big part of it. Um, I think that it's hard right now because the people who are interested in simplicity are up against a society that's moving toward not complexity, but toward complicated structures, complicated financial issues, you know, it's a materialism. So the, the, the people who are interested in simplicity, sustainability, um, have to have to exhibit or uh, show by example what is really true about life, what it means to live more simply, and how that is somehow more satisfying than getting into traffic and going into a cubicle and buying and selling things pointlessly, which is ultimately not sustainable because we're overproducing, over consuming and wasting and polluting the earth. So this requires a step back <laughs> to contemplate what's going on. And I think for people, I know that for many people, if they didn't experience affluence in the past, but then they suddenly can buy things and they can have vehicles and sort of luxury goods and things like this. It's so appealing to them. And it's interesting to see that the people who have experienced that start to understand that there's no satisfaction in that. And so I think ultimately people are going to come through that and see that um, there, there's something else and that the moral, philosophical, sort of spiritual core of Asian thinking is critically important. Thank you.